to talk to him about how, how the, they do that because I, I know of a method that was used that somebody that I knew came up with. Yeah. Well, I know of the method that uh, supposedly used during the war. Obviously, if they suddenly started, uh, they suspected that there was something wrong. Mm -hmm. Then the engineers, because they have resident engineers around the whole place, but they're looking after it, they would have a standard tape that they could load. Okay, that's the method. Was yeah, that they knew was good. They'd run it through, Precisely. and then you would see the pattern and be able to identify the correct valve. Yeah. Yep. There you go. <laughs> so the story holds up. Yeah. Delia Zinkoff came up with that. Yeah. Yeah. So this is running um, the same tape through continuously? Yeah, it doesn't have any memory. Okay. So what it is on the paper is the tape is its memory. Is its memory. So it's this is really this is our hard drive right now. <laughs> right, right. Um, it's switch logic. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and effectively what it is, it scans the tape, analyzes the tape, and then the gap between the start and stop, oh, sorry, in between the stop and the start, there's a great length of tape, which you can see. Actually, okay, right. it actually will pop up. So okay, that, oh yeah, there, all right. Section there. So and that lets that the that computer is, know that that's, that's the beginning and the end. That's where it's all happening. That's okay. All the calculations are, all the results are stored, all the comparisons are performed. Okay. Uh, then it washes its current state, and it's ready now to start reading the tape again. On the Interesting. Paper. And what you have to hear. So now, how is it storing that information until it gets to this end? In uh, fires, the whole bank of fire on tubes at the back. So through the tube. The green okay. counters. Okay. Um, and the other thing about it, of course, is that it's not working on a character. What it does is put the information to start with. To read a character in those days would be impossible because certainly the uh, vacuum tube uh, mm -hmm. poker cells that they have is just way out of the tube And in fact, you can see them through the back there. So, what Dr. Arnold um, Lynch did came up with that is you shine the light through the tape, and instead of trying to focus it on something, you have to spread it out. Okay. So, you end up with six beams of light. You then focus those onto six cells at the back. <laughs> You've also actually got another two, which is the stop pulse and the start pulse. So they also go on to two sets of cells. But the data cells are a bank of six. Okay. There are only five holes in the barrel dot curve. Ah. The sixth one is the scrocky hole. Okay. And it was Tommy Flowers who came up with the idea of realizing, and said, every time I see a scrocky hole, anything I see on either side of it will be data. Okay. So it's now self-synchronizing. It doesn't Maybe. matter how fast or how tape. Sure, it, it will just all, always be on. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> how clever. the holes, there's the sprocket holes, and there are the sprocket holes, and then the holes on either side of the sprocket hole. There you go, and here's the tape in motion. I know it doesn't look like much on the videotape. A rebuild of a 1944 Colossus Mark II. It sounds like a car. <laughs> and these are relays here? Yes, uh, well, these are uni selectors up the top there. Oh, okay. And they relay them all in and Oh, down under well, that. Some of them, there are banks of them going back and back. Okay. Um, and the, the, the amusing thing, actually, is that recently had all these covers sent away for painting. Mm -hmm. Well, as soon as we took all the covers off, and we came in the next day and started to cross this up, not a sound, not a peep. But, my God, you know what's happened. Where's the, where's the money? 
<laughs> what it was, is once we, we knew that it was working, but we didn't know where the sound was going. But then the covers would return and we put them back on again. All the sound returned. <laughs> Sound of all these relays going. Yeah. So it's it's basically just echoing off of the Sorry. shell then. Yeah, it's just off the shell then. Well, you need that so it sounds like it's doing well, something. It there you go. The very top of so uh, yeah, again, I see a lot of similarity to modern computer racks. You've got these relays are sitting in a position like you would see servers today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's amazing how. Well, I suppose the frames themselves have sort of evolved over the years. Right? Yeah. Why redesign the frames? Uh, no, that, that was a valid design all yeah. along. Is it the same? Oh, these are, yeah. We still use those. <laughs> I could put my equipment in this rack. That's I'll, great. Post office frame standard 19. <laughs> That's insane. Okay, I'm going to build a mini one of these when I get home. Have fun. <laughs> Actually, you can buy vacuum tubes. How many thoughts on how many of the. Of GT2s. Yeah. Um, I've never counted them. But yeah, those might be a little hard to obtain. They are incredibly hard to obtain. <laughs> yeah, EL84s you can get easy. Yeah. That's no problem. Because that's a power tube, so those those show up everywhere. A lot of musical amps still use those. Yeah.